We're going to grant a break and enter Christmas wish for a very special mother who is battling cancer. She is way too young to have to worry about something like this. And this young mom has been given hope to try to fight her fight because of the Detroit Red Wings. Teresa is uh, on with us right now. Teresa, give us a little idea about who we're going to grant a Christmas wish for. Um, my daughter-in-law, Cherie, who is um, ill with cancer, and they have been struggling for months and um, very worried about how they were going to provide a Christmas for their girls. And I'm just ready to do this. I'm so nervous. We have a very, very special surprise for Cherie. We're going to call her up right now. You guys mute your phones, okay? Okay. All right. Hello. Hi, Cherie. It's Mojo in the morning. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry to call you so early in the morning. I just uh, wanted to get you before you did anything, before you left the house for a, uh, an appointment or anything. Yeah, we're trying to get out of the house now. We are calling up with the Mojo in the morning breaking and entering Christmas wish. Oh, okay. We receive letters. Thousands and thousands of them about people in the area that are looking to have a brighter Christmas for a friend or a loved one. And we received the most beautiful letter about you. Oh, okay. And the person who wrote that letter wants to read it to you. Can I have them read it? Yeah. (laughs) Dear Mojo in the Morning, I am writing you today on behalf of our daughter-in-law, Cherie, our son, Derek, and our two beautiful granddaughters, Macy Three and Lexi too. Approximately a year and a half ago, on Cherie's 29th birthday, she was diagnosed with a very rare form of rectal colon cancer. Since that awful day, Cherie has endured two rounds of radiation, several chemo treatments, elostomy surgery, and a grueling 10-hour surgery in an attempt to remove the cancer, sadly with no success. Cherie's cancer is very aggressive and her options for treatment have been complicated due to the fact that she also has battled Crohn's disease most of her life. She has fought so hard and endured more pain than anyone deserves. And as if fighting for your life is not enough to deal with, their financial situation has become a constant source of stress and worry. They are literally on the brink of losing everything, including their home. No one in their situation should have to worry if they will have a roof over their head food on their table, or heat to keep them warm. Sadly, this is their reality, and now Cherie is down to her very last chance for survival, and the odds are not in her favor. Our hearts are beyond devastated. All we can do is try to make the rest of her days with us the very best they can be. So I am praying that you can help us make this Christmas as special as it can possibly be for them. Sincerely, the Clayton family. Cherie, your mother-in-law wrote us that letter to tell us about you and this <laughs> battle that you are in right now. And I want you to know that we hear how beautiful of a family you have, and it breaks our heart that you guys are going through this right now. We are offering up our prayers to you, and, and our listeners are too. And we want to try to make this Christmas a Christmas that you and the kids can have with each other and be able to forget about all that is going on right now in your life. We are going to have you go meet Joey. Are you there, Joey? All right. Look outside your window right now. My window? Yeah. Your front window. (laughs) Tell us what you see. <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> we sent a limo for you. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> In that limo is Joey from our show, and our friends from Lavda's Limousines are going to take you and your family down to the Joe, where we have a morning worth of surprises for you for your breaking and entering Christmas wish. Oh boy. I don't want any cameras yet. <laughs> <laughs>
And we're going to ask our listeners to stick with us because we're going to unveil to Cherie, Derek, and Lexi and Macy the most amazing Christmas ever. <laughs> oh, you got to get dressed. Okay, well, oh, hurry okay. Up. Put yes. those clothes on. Why don't why don't okay. you why don't you go get dressed? And okay. and why don't you get ready to get in that big old Hummer limo and then we're going to see you personally within like the next hour for the second part of this Christmas wish. Okay. I was thinking so nervous. <laughs> Cherie I truly believe that this is going to be an amazing morning, and I want you to know that we appreciate you allowing us to come in your home and know that we are all praying so hard for you. All right. We will see you at Joe Lewis Arena in just a little bit, and get ready. Who's your favorite Red Wing player? <laughs> how, how about current player? Who's your favorite current player? <laughs> Bill Markin. It's okay. <laughs> Bill Markin. Oh, there's nobody better than Larkin. <laughs> we are going to make sure that you have the the time of your life with these guys, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, can you put your mother-in-law back on? Yeah. Hi. Teresa, we will see you at the Joe. Yeah, I'm nervous. Oh, all right. Don't be don't nervous. Don't be nervous. This is exciting. And don't give out any more info because we want it to be a total surprise. Yeah, she doesn't know what's in store for her. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay. All right. Merry Christmas to all from Mojo Merry in the Morning. Merry Christmas to you. We had them show up to watch a Red Wings practice. They got to hang out on the ice. And then just after practice... We escorted Cherie and her family into a room where we set Christmas up for her and her entire family. And that's the part of this that you are going to hear right now. And listen to the surprise as the players come in. All of us from the Mojo in the Morning Show are there. And we try to help out this young family that is battling this horrible disease. Come on in. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Hi, we're Mojo in the morning. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. We're sorry about the surprise that we uh, yeah. caught you in the bathroom or getting dressed. Uh, oh. No, well, I was Shower. feeding Shower. the girls and then I was on my way to go get ready. <laughs> now you really need to look around this room and see who's here know, and what's behind it. Now you really know something's going on. We want, to, yeah. we want to bring you over here and we want to show you what we have for you, okay? Oh. We're going to bring you Christmas. Yeah, we, we went out and bought Christmas gifts for uh, the kids so that they could have everything that they ever wanted for Christmas. And I know, Spike, you did all the shopping. So what did you get? Uh, I got too much. I have two, <laughs> I have two daughters of my own, so I went a little crazy. So. Holy moly, this is... Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. And so we want them and put them down. Let them play yeah. with their gifts. Let them open up their gifts, guys. Let them have some fun. Girls, those are your gifts. That's Santa Claus guys. has Santa Claus has come. <laughs> And then we we also been so worried about everything. We also know how um, things have been um, kind of stressful as far as financially right now. Yeah. So Derek, come on over here for a second, buddy. With breaking and entering Christmas wish, and we want to make sure that you guys don't have to worry about the stress of, uh, of finances. So we, Rachel, can you bring it over here and Lady Jane's? We have a check for five thousand dollars for you guys. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Gosh, I can't even believe this right now. <laughs> oh, oh, you guys had me earlier, but no. Just, uh, not to get too nervous. Uh, yeah. Oh. Derek, you've been a you've been a rock. <laughs> yeah. And we want you uh, to know that we're all That's thinking of you too. We're all we're all praying for you. Thank you. <laughs> right. You have no idea what it means. <laughs> The Red Wings, we understand, have kind of been the thing that has helped get you through a lot of the treatments that you've been going through and just the 
you know, the last two years, right? Yeah, it's just, it's been so hard. Yeah. Well, we wanted you to know that what you saw today with getting to watch practice wasn't uh, it, that the players want to come spend some time with you. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> Including that guy right over there, Dylan Larkin, who's... Aww. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Yeah. That's yeah. so cool. <laughs> you know, guys, we were just talking about how you guys obviously battle game in and game out and practice in and practice out. This is a this is a woman that is a total gamer right now, and she's she's been gaming for two years, and she's got more game to go, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it's you know something that affects us all, but um, you just have the most respect for what they're going through and the people around them that, you know, or make things like this happen and and moments like this that they'll they'll remember for the rest of their lives. Yeah. Beautiful family and, and these guys just wanna say thank you to you for being such a big Red Wings fan and yeah. for this is her fight. She watches you guys. She comes to see you guys and that's yeah. what's been getting her through it. Yeah. Oh. When you said this morning that Dylan was your favorite player, you know, we had to make it happen. Yeah. So, and when we were talking about it, a lot of the guys were listening and Croner and Greener and Glenn Denning and all these guys who said, we want to come and do, we, we want to meet this amazing woman. So you talk about the strength and the courage it takes on the ice. That's nothing compared to the fight you've been going through. Thank you. Surely we have something else for you too. Um, we want to make sure that you guys have an amazing Christmas dinner and lots of food in your refrigerator and your pantry. So our friends at Kroger gave us tons of gift cards to give to you. And we also put some gas cards in here so that you can fill your car with gas and get to chemo and anywhere else you guys need to go, okay? Oh, so my goodness. <laughs> Money was enough. Thank you. <laughs> Cherie, there's one more thing. You uh, mentioned that you wanted a special Christmas gift of leather journals that you can write messages for Lexi and Macy as they get older. So in their favorite colors, we did get the journals for you. Yay, thank you. For that. Every day I've been wanting to write, you know. So now I finally can. I just want to tell them how much I love them and how special they are. Thank you. Shree, the biggest thing we want to give you, too, besides all that, is we just want to give you our prayers and the prayers of all of our listeners. Just know that we're thinking of you and your family. We're going to be with you to fight the fight. Yes. I've had so much support. It's been amazing. And I really need it. And just right now, it seems like it's the worst part right now. And I'm, I'm in, and now this is just this is exactly what I need. <laughs> To push me through more. Well, we believe in miracles, so. Absolutely. Thank you. Merry Thank Christmas. you so much. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to this Merry family. Merry Thank Christmas, you. Merry Christmas, Lexi and Macy. Merry Christmas to you guys. Merry Christmas.
Now I want to uh, say that I've seen uh, a lot of great dads in my day. My dad, Spike, Shannon's husband, Andrew, Rachel's husband, Capricorn, my brothers. I've never seen a dad like I saw in Derek, who is there with the kids and making sure that Cherie is able to enjoy this day and knowing that, you know, she's got a tough battle ahead of her and he's encouraging her. He is keeping the kids happy and joyful. Uh, he is a, uh, an amazing, amazing husband. And uh, I just wanted to shout him out. You'll see that when you watch the uh, the videos of this that will be posted at mojointhemorning.com for this special uh, Christmas wish. And uh, very special thanks to uh, Kim over at the Red Wings, Kim Brody, who's one of the uh, the finest human beings you'll ever meet. We worked with her for many, many years at the Detroit Red Wings. Because this uh, wish uh, was uh, special for her, too. And she wanted to make sure that this wish got granted and make sure that the Red Wings players got involved in the biggest Red Wings fan having their wish granted.